show um, under Cassiopeia. It's my third show with the Buck Gallery. My name is Gomar. Um, I'm from Belgium. Um, I'm going to say a few words about my paintings. I paint about a place in mind, a place about a, a place somewhere between the dream world and the re reality. Um, I think we all have this place where we where we go to, where we think, or where our memories are, um, where we where we, um, where we where we deal with things, our, our inner inner place. Um, it's, I, I, the, um, it's a timeless place because it's it's like the ancient Greek or the ancient Romans. They refer to this place as an uh, Arcadia. Um, it was like a dreamlike inner place where you could be free and where you could where you, you could think. Um, so I like to paint about, about that. So it's actually a place that's very close to, to all of us. And um, I think that's also in the way I paint those, those things. Um, like I, I prepare a lot of different uh, pieces of cotton and of linen and I paint on them and then I stitch them and then I work on them again. And I think that uh, I'm telling you, it's, it's about a place that's very close to us, of course, to us, and all those imperfections. Um, it makes you want to touch the painting. It makes you actually. It, I, I like the idea that you take a painting off the wall and could wrap them around you. So it's it's we all have that inner pro protective place, like in your your, your your trust kind of place. Um, I think also. All the imagery art is new, but I think you know them all. You, you have seen them before. I think a lot of those imagery is, on, is in, in our co collective, um, collective, collective, collective me 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 memory. Um, so that's, that makes it easy to, to, to tap into them. Um, How do you like, get inspired by like, what you want to? What, what you want to paint, like, where do you get the imagery from, like? Um, from, um, because it is this, in, um, in art history, that people have always been painting and making art about this inner place. Um, so for me, it's, it's, it's um, um, I take imagery from a lot of different cultures to, to tell the story that, that this is a thing that we do now and that we have always been doing. Um, I think the, the, the look of the, of the paintings is like they, they they are made now, but they could be even made like hundreds of years ago, or they could even be made in, in the future, for example. So, so I like that um, that um, that t timelessness that's in them, and that's what I what I want to do. I think I think. It doesn't matter where you're from. I think we can all look at the paintings and maybe feel or address a different thing or different uh, memories. But I think it's, it's all within the same. I think we can all look at the the moons and think and think the same things about the. the moon. Yeah, it's like we're all having, everywhere you go, there's the moon. Yeah, there's moon, and, yeah. and it's not that the painting is about the moon, but it's an easy way to tap into that place somewhere between dream and re reality. This one is really pretty, but they're all like this one seems like a landscape or like a mountain or something. Kind oh, of. yeah, these, these forms actually they come from. Um, I look at at early Indian uh, miniatures, oh, and yeah. they use a lot of pencils in the image. So actually, if you parasol. the parasol is like a um, symbol, just like I said, you could wrap them around you. And actually, and actually, it's like this one, 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 but it's not necessary to know what I think think about them. You have to. You are as important as your work. You can find me on Instagram at, at Gomar Gilliams. It's G O M M A A R. Gilliams. It's like Williams with a G.
Kumar Gilliams. <laughs>